This week, the FDA made a change to the way prescription abortion pills can be sold. Channel 8's Philip Catofimo is here to tell us more about the change. Philip? Thank you. The change comes after the Justice Department gave the okay to the U.S. Postal Service to continue delivering abortion medication by mail. This week, the Food and Drug Administration made a change to a long-standing rule that prevented drug stores from selling the prescription abortion pill, Mufapristone. This comes after the Justice Department gave the okay to the U.S. Postal Service to continue delivering abortion medication by mail. Before, Mufapristone could only be prescribed by some mail-order pharmacies and certified physicians. CVS and Walgreens announced their intentions to sell the pill, potentially making it more available to those who need it. Something Nate Graz, policy director for the Nebraska Family Alliance, is concerned about. Uh, so we do know that uh, the majority of abortions are now being done chemically, and this move uh, seeks to further expand that uh, at the expense of the health and safety of women and also uh, the lives of unborn children. And so that's something that we think states need to continue to, to push back against. According to Nebraska state law, abortion is legal up to the 20th week of pregnancy. And while you can order mapristone by mail, a chemical abortion can only be performed at a doctor's office in front of your doctor. District Nebraska State Senator Michaela Cavanaugh says this puts a lot of pressure on the individual using the medication. However, th what the federal government has allowed is that you go to a pharmacy and you purchase the medication you go home and you have the time and the space and the comfort of your own home with your partner, your family, whatever it is you need to make that decision when you don't feel under pressure. And so that's a much better way to be making your medical decisions, in my opinion. Graz feels this change will make abortion easier. What the Biden administration and, FB and FDA are doing with this decision is really jeopardizing uh, the health and safety of, of women, while also ensuring that it will be easier than ever before to end the life of an innocent human baby inside the womb. Kavanaugh says it's not up to her to make hard decisions like this for other people. I, I don't know what the reasoning or rationale is behind opposing these things. I know what the outcome and the impact is on the individuals affected by it. Currently, there are no new abortion laws on the table for the legislature, but the issue is expected to come up sometime during the session. Back to you, Ron Megan. All right, Philip. Thank you.